Today I'd like to talk about installing the brand new Windows 7 Beta into VMware Fusion on your Mac. The first step is to head on over to Microsoft's website to actually get a copy of the Beta in ISO format, which is just a downloadable disk image. What you want to do is visit the URL at the bottom of your screen, sign up for a Windows Live ID, and then you'll be provided with a serial number which will keep your version of Windows 7 active till about August. So you'll be able to test a lot of the functionality, install programs, and just make recommendations to make the overall software experience better. Once your ISO is finished downloading, our first step is just to fire up VMware Fusion. Now a note about Windows 7, you can't upgrade a copy of Windows XP to Windows 7, so what we're going to have to do is create a new virtual machine. Easy enough. You can come down here to the bottom left where it says New and click on that or you can go up to file and click new up here. What we want to do at this point in our virtual machine assistant is click continue without disk unless you've burned your copy of the Windows 7 to a DVD. The next step is to click on the box or the circle that says use operating system installation disk image file which is exactly what we downloaded from Microsoft. Click that once and you'll be able to navigate to the actual ISO file. I've stored it on an external drive so just click it once and select choose. Once this is done click continue. At this point you're asked to choose the operating system. Now Windows 7 is not yet officially supported for VMware so what we're gonna have to do is select the closest cousin of Windows 7. I found two options work here you can either select Windows Vista or if you want to drop this menu down you can select Windows Server 2008. Be mindful though that if you've downloaded the 64-bit version of either of these operating systems then you need to select the appropriate option what, whether it's Windows Server 2008 x64 or Windows Vista x64. In this case I just downloaded the standard 32-bit edition so that's what I'm working with. When you've made your selection click continue. Again, since Windows 7 isn't officially supported by VMware Fusion just yet, we're going to uncheck Use Easy Install just in case VMware gets a little confused about where the prompts should be appearing for things like your name, password, and Windows product key. Uncheck that and click Continue. On this screen, just take a look at the settings and generally they're pretty good. Your memory is set at 1 gig. The, the maximum disk size is 40 gigs. It's using shared networking with, within VMware, and it's using the Windows 7 Beta ISO, whatever you've named it. Once that's done, click Finish. Select where you want it to live and what you want it to be named. In this case, I'm not going to name it Windows 7 because that's not Windows Vista. That's not what it is. I'm just going to rename it to Windows 7 and click Save. At this point, it's just going to run through the standard Windows 7 install process. Eventually, the setup will finish and you'll arrive at this window. Simply type your username and leave the computer name alone if, if, if you don't see anything wrong with it. You're going to want to type a password optionally definitely not uh, definitely not mandatory and if you have your product activation key from Windows at this point it, it may have been emailed to you it may not have you may have seen it at the download site you may not have you can put it in here but it's also not mandatory just click use recommended settings here you can customize them later select your time zone Choose Home Network. If you want to create a home group, which is a new feature of Windows 7, you have the ability to do that right now. You're assigned a unique password to each virtual machine or computer that you install Windows 7 on, and you can share a lot of information between them using these passwords. I just tend to skip this step because I'm not going to be using that feature. And it finalizes your setup with the current settings that we just listed. Once all those settings are in place, Windows 7 gets started. 
Our last step before actually being able to use this as a full-fledged virtual machine, however, is to install the VMware tools, which allow for better mouse tracking, enhanced screen resolutions, and just better compatibility overall. So in order to do that, what you have to do is just go up to Virtual Machine and Install VMware Tools. Click Install. And the action will start happening from within the virtual machine. At this point, just click run setup.exe. Click yes. Those using Vista might be familiar with, with this, uh, this kind of window, UAC windows. Trust me, in, in Windows 7, they definitely aren't as prevalent as they were in Vista. Just go through this process. Next. I just do complete. Next install. Once this is done, click finish. And you'll have to restart your installation of Windows 7 for these new drivers and updated settings to take effect. So just go ahead and do that. And now you're all set up and ready to go with Windows 7. One cool thing that I really like to do that seems to impress a lot of people is using spaces, and this is on OS 10.5 using Leopard. Set one of the spaces for the virtual machine, VMware, and set it to full screen. And then use all of your other spaces for your default Mac OS 10 program so you can quickly switch between them and impress your friends if they're impressed by this sort of thing.